Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Lunch with Lisa. Hi, I'm Lisa Warner. Welcome. And let me just turn off my Hello Facebook and sound. Okay, here we go. So welcome. I'm Lisa Warner. I'm the author of The Simplicity of Self-Healing. And I teach people how to heal themselves so they can free themselves from the medical system and take their health into their own hands. Today, I wanted to talk about the solstice. It's June, today's June 17th, coming up in a few days, we have the solstice. Longest day of the year in the Northern Hemisphere, shortest day of the year in the Southern Hemisphere. So the times of the solstice are always powerful energetic times. So, this year, as I've been feeling into this upcoming solstice and just simply observing the energies around, what I'm watching is that we are at the point of a turning point. There are basically two timelines that have been playing out on this planet. And it's important to understand kind of what a timeline really is, because I didn't understand this for a really long time, <laughs> timelines, but what a timeline is, is basically a storyline. And there are a couple of, we each have our own storyline, the, the storyline of our own lives. And then there are storyline, there are storylines within storylines, but there are basically two major overriding storylines that have been playing out through humanity for a very, very long time. And when we're inside the storylines, we can't really tell that we're in a storyline because we're just, it's just our life, it's just how life is going. But when we're able to step back and look from a broader perspective, it's easier to see the storylines. So in humanity, we've had a couple of different storylines that have been playing out for centuries upon centuries. One of the storylines is the storyline of you and me, the average everyday person who just wants to live a happy, healthy, peaceful life, you know, having fun, enjoying our lives. But there's another storyline that is also be being played out on top of our storyline. And that's the storyline of the ones who rule the world. They have their own storyline. <laughs> and from us, the ones that are being ruled, it's hard to see the storyline of the ones who are ruling over humanity. But over the last couple of years, the storyline of the ones who rule over humanity is becoming a lot more clear to everyone, well, to many people. So the two storylines that, that run parallel to each other and overlap and intersect each other, they are at a point of bifurcation, of making a split. Because one storyline goes in the direction of peace on earth, on he creating heaven on earth for all. Peace, prosperity, well-being for everyone. And the other storyline goes in a very, very different direction. The other storyline goes in the direction of basically peace for, for, for them, but not for us. The other storyline that plays, that is being played out simultaneously by the ones who rule the earth are that they take all the power and they turn humanity into transhumans. What does that mean? Well, basically it, the, the way it works is they kind of turn humanity into robots. They put microchips in humans and then they simply start controlling humans through the microchips. 
Okay, it sounds like something out of complete science fiction. Like Lisa, what are you talking about? But this is actually a, a viable storyline that has been playing out. The, the direction of humanity. So what's happening right now at this point is humanity is at a choice point. We are going through this massive shift of consciousness and it's up to each and every one of us to choose which storyline we want to go on. And if you're watching this, chances are pretty much 100% that you're choosing the storyline of heaven on earth. And the good news is that because that's the higher vibrational storyline of those two options, that is, that is the more people that choose that storyline, the faster that storyline will come into existence. So, oh, hey, Brenda, thanks for joining. Um, so where we place our attention is where we go. So what's, where are you placing your attention? Which storyline, which timeline are you choosing? The two timelines look very similar right now because they're, they're, they're both playing out on top of each other simultaneously. And there's a lot of bleed through in the two storylines. But the one, the storyline that is heaven on earth is, e it's easy to see the difference between the, the two storylines. The storyline for heaven on earth is that we each take our own power back. We step into resonance with our soul and we start to take command of our own lives. We take command of our health. We take command of our wealth. We start working together with our friends, our families, our neighbors, and we start to create community and family with each other. And we start to help each other and we start lifting each other up. We make sure that the people that we love around us, whether it's our, our family or our friends or our neighbors, our community, we make sure that everybody has what they need, has the information that they need, feels empowered, and that we all start working together toward a better humanity, toward a better, more beautiful earth where we stop the pollution, we stop destroying the earth, we stop polluting the airs and the waters, and we start, um, and we stop polluting our bodies, we stop polluting our minds, we stop the wars, we start to just live in well-being and harmony with the earth, and with each other. The other storyline, is the storyline of, of wars and, and struggle and disease and um, climate change and um, you know, uh, pollution, you know, polluting the skies, polluting the waters, polluting our air. So where we place our attention is incredibly important, especially for the next six months. If we are placing our attention on anything that we don't prefer, we're actually adding our energy to the thing that we don't prefer. Whether it's disease, whether it's poverty, whether it's uh, the current situation with, with these things <laughs> and with sense or ship online we shouldn't have to talk like this in order to to get our messages out anything that we are placing our attention on is what we're empowering so for these six months especially let's get a vision of where we want to go 
what timeline do you want to have play out? What timeline do you want to play out personally in your own life? And what timeline would you like to see play out for humanity? Anything that we place our attention on, we can attract to us. We can generate the timeline of our choice. If you're facing a physical challenge, a health challenge, it's really important to keep your eye on what it is that you want. Don't claim your challenge. Don't say, I have cancer or Parkinson's or whatever it is you've got if you don't want it. And this isn't about denying or bypassing or um, you know, anything like that. It is about claiming your future. We as humanity have to claim our future. In order to create the future that we desire, we have to claim it for ourselves in the moment. Even if it hasn't manifest yet, it doesn't matter that it hasn't manifest yet, okay? When I was facing cancer, I made the choice, I want radiant health. So in order to do that, I had to start claiming my radiant health even when my body was not looking healthy. It wasn't about denying what was going on in my body. It was about taking, the, taking my focus off what it is that I don't want and start focusing in the direction that I did want. So because what we focus on is where we go. Think about driving a car. It's literally this simple. Where, when you drive your car, what you're focusing on is where you're driving. Okay, if, you're, if you take your eye off the road, the car is going to go somewhere else. Okay. But what you focus on, if you're in New York City and you want to get to and you want to drive to Los Angeles, you got to stay focused on Los Angeles. So you have to keep going in the proper direction. Doesn't matter that you're not in LA yet. When you get in your car, there's a journey and you take that journey and you don't go, oh my God, I'm not there yet. Oh my God, I'm not there yet. Otherwise, it's going to be a really long journey. It's not going to be a fun journey going, oh, my God, am I there yet? Am I there yet? Am I there? It's like, hey, I'm in New York. I'm going to go to L.A. You put your focus there. Hey, I've got something going on in my body. I want radiant health. All right, let me put my focus there. And then you just start out on your journey. You have to claim your timeline. Claim the outcome that you want. What timeline, what storyline do you want to see play out? What storyline do you want to have play out in your own life? And what storyline would you like to see for humanity? Would you like to see the new earth where we all live in harmony? with one another and with the earth, then we have to claim that timeline. We have to set our focus there and we have to stop playing in the things that are not like that. Just like with your body, you have to stop playing in the I'm not okay if you want to experience radiant health. There is no other way. You can't keep saying, I'm not okay, I'm not okay, I'm not okay, and expect to be okay. <laughs> it simply doesn't work that way. But in the grand scheme of things, we are the soul. And it's impossible to be not okay as the soul. So who you truly are is always okay. There is nothing wrong with any of us at the soul level. 
So start claiming that, start claiming the newer, higher, better timeline, because what we focus on is what we create. So in humanity right now, there's a very big push to have the transhuman movement where people get, get micro chipped, where people get tracked, traced, corralled, coerced. And it's really not a pleasant outcome. It's not a timeline that I personally would have any interest in. And I'm guessing that you don't either. So everything that feels icky <laughs> is basically part of that timeline. So start paying attention to the choices that you're being given and the choices that you're making. The choices that we are all being given, it looks like we have a limited number of choices because they put a menu of choices in front of us and say, you must pick one of these choices or multiples of these choices. However, there is always other choices. Why? Because there are infinite choices. This is an infinite, unlimited universe. And we are infinite, unlimited beings. We have infinite choices. There are always other choices. So if you're being given two or three choices and none of them feel like expansive and uplifting and and like really good empowering choices, then don't choose them. Wait and choose again. Ask to be shown the other choices. What else is possible? Ask the universe. What else is possible? How could this turn out better than I could possibly have ever imagined? Ask ask better quality questions, ask to be guided in the direction of the timeline of your choosing. If you want to play in the, in the control game, then great, go for it. However, just realize that is not in the same direction as the new earth timeline. So there is no choice, there is no, there's no judgment here. But if you want to go in the direction of the new earth timeline, where we all work together, creating heaven on earth, a thriving, prosperous planet for all, where well-being is the order of the day, that's where we are all heading. Those of us who are in the higher vibrations, and if you're watching this, that is you. That's where we're heading. So it's really important to stay very clear on what choices you are making so that you make sure that you are making choices in the timeline that you prefer. Because the other storyline right now is being broadcast loud and clear over the airwaves, over the internet, over the TV, over the print things. It's very easy to get sucked into the other timeline by mistake if we're not paying attention. It is easy to fall down the rabbit hole. And it's very difficult to get ourselves out. We don't need the extra difficulty. We don't need to get sucked down the rabbit hole. And we don't need to suffer with anything. Suffering is not mandatory, no matter how much we've been told it is. 
well-being is the order of the day. Hey, Kinsey, Christina, thank you for joining me. So I'm ho I hope that this makes sense because it's really, really important. The people that are highly invested in the alternate timeline, the one that pulls us down the rabbit hole, they're trying to get as many people to join them as possible. And it's everybody is free to choose. But if you're listening to this, the new earth, the rainbows, the beauty, the clean waters, the clean air, the well being, the health, the vitality, the prosperity for all, the heaven on earth is what is possible. And it's why we incarnated at this time. If you came into a body at this point in time, you came here to make a difference. And right now is the time where we shift to the full on new earth timeline. And the faster we focus, the more we stay in alignment with that timeline, the faster it comes to fruition, the faster all of the negative stuff literally just falls away. Everything can literally change in the blink of an eye, almost virtually overnight. We have the power. And the more of us that can focus on the new earth timeline, the faster well being for all comes to fruition. The faster our bodies heal, the faster our earth heals, the faster humanity heals. So if you're struggling with your body right now and you are looking for healing, please reach out because there are ways to heal fast. And it's not about gimmicks or anything else, but there are simple tools and awarenesses that we can use to heal quickly. Once I understood what was actually happening to my body, and it was not disease that was happening. Disease is the illusion. It's the other timeline. Disease is what's happening on the other timeline. Well-being happens on the new earth timeline. And both timelines are available to choose from. So. All we have to do, once I could see that disease was not the problem that I thought it was, healing happened fast. So let's get as many people off the old earth timeline and onto the new earth timeline so that we can all experience radiant health, happiness, harmony, prosperity for all. So if I can be of service, please feel free to reach out. You can reach me at, my email is lisa at connectingyoutoyou.com. My, my website, connecting you to you. Like, like here, uh, there. <laughs> connecting y-o-u-t-o-y-o-u.com. Please reach out if I can be of assistance because we want to get as many people healthy and happy as possible so we can start living heaven on earth. This solstice is a powerful time and what we focus on at this point in time will determine which timeline we hop onto and start making manifest here on earth. So Hopefully this was helpful to you. And between now and next time, there will be the solstice, a beautiful gateway of open energies. So choose wisely. And until next week, create for yourselves a great week. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now. <laughs>